Welcome to Hilton Head Health's first ever trainer's palette video. This is Kristen and she's going to be taking us through some fitball exercises this morning. So go ahead Kristen, take it away. Well the fitball is an easy way to do an at home workout. It's very inexpensive. You can pick up one of these for under $20 at any store. So it's a great piece of equipment to have at home. You can travel with it. It's nice and fast. Um, we're going to start out teaching training what we call a hip bridge with a hamstring curl. Alright, Jeannie, you're going to put your hands right to your side, placing them on the ground, and you're going to use your hips to bridge up so you're in a straight line. As you raise, you're going to feel your glutes squeezing, you're going to feel your hamstrings contracting as well. What you're going to think about doing is pulling those heels towards your glutes. Bringing those knees up, very nice. And you can slowly raise down. As you go, you don't want that butt to drop at all, you want to stay nice and tall there. You'll feel this exercise in your hamstrings, you'll feel it in your calves, as well as those glutes. That's very good. We'll do about 10 reps here. And let's get one more right here and we'll come back down and take a break. Very good. That's great, Kristen. <laughs> what if you were looking to make it a little more challenging? To make this a more advanced move, you can try sticking one of those legs in the air. That way you have to work on the balance. You're going to unite your core and you really have to work on being stable as you do it. Okay. Well, let's show our viewers at home how you would make this a little more challenging. So again, put those heels back up on the ball. Let's lift the, let's lift the bridge right away. And now we're going to slowly raise one leg just a couple inches up. Now using your right heel, we're going to try to bring it towards that glute again. Very nice. Notice Janie's staying nice and tall. She's in a flat line as she pulls in. Can you feel a little bit more of a strain on that hamstring? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And you can go ahead and switch legs here. Stay nice and tall. And this is a great exercise because you're going to be using that core muscles. Even though that's not the main group, you're going to feel in your core and feel those back muscles tighten up as well as the legs. So a great at home leg workout here on the football. Alright, now we're going to move into an upper body and core exercise. What we're going to do is a push up with our feet on the football. So Chaney, I'm going to have you go ahead. We're going to start by putting those hands in the ground. You're going to roll out over that ball so that your shins or your knees are on the ball. What you're going to think about doing is remaining nice and flat, just like we did in that plank, and you're going to bend those elbows and bring that nose towards the floor, working on that push-up. You want to make sure you're squeezing those lower back muscles in your abs so you don't get an arch in your back. Good. And we're breathing out on the hard part here, exhaling. Good. Go ahead and stop our advanced version. I'm going to have Cheney walk her hands out a little bit further so the ball is moving more towards her ankles. This is going to put a little bit more stress on that chest and give her a little extra resistance to lift. Go ahead and try it here. Good. Another way to make it more advanced is to put those legs together and point your toes. This is going to make you create some stability. You have to hold your core in so you're not rocking side to side. You see Cheney stays nice and straight as she does this. A very, very difficult move. The push up on the football is a great exercise for the pecs, for your shoulders, as well as your triceps. Um, I'm guessing you can also feel it in your core and your lower back. So yes, definitely. It definitely engages a lot of muscle groups. Alright, lastly we're going to show you an exercise here that really works the core. We call it a leg raise. So what I'm going to do, Cheney, is lay flat on your back here. You can use your hands to brace your back. We're going to put the ball and you're going to squeeze it between your legs. What you're going to do is you're going to feel this in your inner thighs as well as that core. You're going to slow down the ball, ball towards the ground. Right before it hits the ground, you're going to raise it back up. You should feel this igniting all of your upper and lower abs here. Always making sure to breathe as the ball comes down. We don't want to be holding our breath at all when we do this exercise. Very nice. If you want a more advanced version of this, you can use the hands and pass the ball on. You can see Cheney pass it from her hands back to her legs here. Never letting those hands or her ankles touch the ground. Are you feeling this through your whole abs? Sure am. There you go. Let's get one more here. And back to center. Of course, if this is a little bit too advanced for you, you can always do it without the fit ball or use a smaller ball so it's not so much pressure to squeeze together and hold in there. There's all different variations you can do, but 
I think you'll find it fun and a, a great workout for those eight hours. So there you have it. Three easy and effective exercises you can do at home or bring it back to the gym. And thank you, Kristen, for joining us today. And stay tuned for another edition of Hilton Head Health Trainers Palace.